guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. If you're new here, my name is Sharon. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Today on Creative Glam Crafts, I'm excited to be participating in a collaboration. This collaboration is called DIY Floral Challenge Spring 2019. This is the first time I've participated in this collaboration, but my understanding is it's an annual event and I'm excited. This collaboration is being hosted by Lindsay of Domer Home and Heidi of Happily Thriving Heidi. They both have wonderful channels here on YouTube and I will leave a link to both of their channels down below in the description box. I will also leave a link down below in the description box for the playlist of the other participants in this collaboration. Go by and check them out after you finish watching my video. Now the requirements of this collaboration is that we DIY spring decor using florals as the title says. But the twist is you can't buy the florals. You have to create your own flowers. I thought I can do that and I could do it on a budget. So I decided I'm going to do wall art. I'm going to feature handmade flowers and these items didn't cost me anything. I already had all the components that I will need for this project. Simple wall art with handmade flowers. Hello spring. Let's get started. I am going to be using my stamp set. I got this stamp set from Technique Tuesday. It's um, cherry blossoms and it comes with a saying, you are simply, life is, uh, be your own kind of, and then beautiful. So it's got several stamps in here that you can use, but I'm not gonna be using the sentiments today. I am just going to be using the florals. So I'm gonna stamp my flowers out I'm going to heat emboss them. I'm going to watercolor them. And then I'm gonna go for my sentiment. And I'm gonna take and put all of that inside, inside my shadow box frame. Now, as I said earlier, all the components to this wall art, I already had, so I'm not spending anything today. So I'm excited to get started. The first thing I'm gonna do, this is a, um, a picture that I already had. This is going to be the background that I'll be using in the flowers. Because I'm heat embossing, I'm going to take an anti-static pouch and just rub it across the surface of my watercolor paper at my um, tonic stamp platform. And that works. Okay, I just turned on my heat embosser. Now I'm gonna stamp. flower stamp. And by the way, I'm using Versafine ink. Oh, beautiful. I said I'm going to do two of them, but I got to get this in gloss before it dries. And I just emboss. So I'm just gonna heat up that powder until it turns translucent, until it gets a shiny black. It takes the chalkiness away, that's how you know you've got it embossed enough. Doesn't take long. But because this is watercolor paper that I'm using, it's gonna take a little longer than normal. That's gorgeous. And then the second one. Okay. 
This is super thick uh, watercolor cardstock. I believe it's 150 pounds. I believe. Here. Now I'm going to paint them. I've decided that I wanted the stems on these uh, flowers to be like an olive, a, a combination of an olive brown. I'm going to use my Tombow markers for this. I'm not the best um, at these Tombow markers and these Copic markers. I have Tombow and Copic. I think I have all the colors. Um, I'm no professional at this at all. I just enjoy coloring. As a matter of fact, I'm relatively new to it. But I enjoy it so much. And I love the Tombow markers. The Tombow markers are, if you don't already know, they're watercolor as opposed to my Copic markers are alcohol based. This is a water um, brush. It's filled with water. Squeeze it, get the water out. Now I'm gonna cut these out. My flower is done. Now I'm gonna cut them out. So it's not perfect, but it's handmade. <laughs>
cut my little blue jay. I didn't have a blue jay, so I had to make one. Now I'm gonna gold foil my cinnamon in my laminator. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. I've now gold foiled my sentiment. Now I'm gonna cut it out. Now these butterflies, I die cut these in my Sizzic Big Shot. Those are, now my stamps are heat embossed. Uh, the sun is heat embossed and colored. The shine bright is heat embossed, but I'm not doing anything else to it. The bird house is heat embossed, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of brown. That's it guys, we're all done. That is so pretty. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my spring wall art. I wanna thank Lindsay of Domer Home and Heidi of Happily Thriving Heidi for allowing me to participate in the DIY Floral Challenge Spring 2019. I had so much fun and I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. What do you think? Leave me a comment below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit the notification bell twice so you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos multiple times a week. Also, check out my main channel, Creative Glam. On Creative Glam, I do home decor, life and style, and much more. Just type Creative Glam into your search bar or click the link down below in the description box. And now that you finish watching my video, check out the playlist of the other participants in this collaboration. And with that being said, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam Crafts. Bye.